In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to teach online with Google Meet, a guide tailored specifically for teachers. If you're looking to engage students through a virtual platform seamlessly, you're in the right place. Let's dive in and explore how Google Meet can become an efficient tool for your online teaching needs. First, you'll want to start by heading over to meet.google.com. This will serve as your main hub for initiating virtual classes and meetings. Once you're there, you'll need to sign in with your Google account. This step is crucial because it ties your meetings with your calendar and allows you to access other integrated Google services seamlessly. If you don't have a Google account yet, you'll need to create one to continue. Once you've successfully signed in, look for the new meeting button, which is conveniently located on the page. When you click on it, you'll see several options. For now, let's go with start an instant meeting. This is the quickest way to get your virtual classroom up and running. As soon as the meeting begins, you'll find a variety of controls at your disposal at the bottom of the screen. One of the key features you'll likely want to utilize is share screen. This is an incredibly useful tool for presenting lessons, slides, or educational videos to your students. When you click on share screen, you'll be presented with choices regarding what you want to share. You can either share your entire screen, a specific window, or a Chrome tab. Evaluate what would be most effective for your lesson and make your selection. After you've made your choice, click Share to begin presenting. This will allow your students to see the content you are referring to during the lesson. It's always a good idea to double check that you are sharing the correct screen or tab, as this ensures a smooth flow of information and keeps the session professional. Now that everything is set up, engage your students while presenting. Google Meet supports real-time interaction, which means you can answer questions, conduct discussions, and directly involve your students as you teach. This interactive aspect not only makes the class more engaging, but also allows for immediate feedback and clarification, similar to what you do in a physical classroom setting. With these steps, you're all set to deliver enriching and interactive virtual lessons using Google Meet. Remember, Practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to explore other features within Google Meet to further enhance your teaching experience. I hope this guide has equipped you with the foundational skills needed to make the most of your online teaching sessions. Thanks for joining me today, and happy teaching!